Hey guys, this is Heather. I am loving seeing people following along with the May calendar. If you haven't yet picked up a copy, there's a PDF that you can download. I'll link to it just below this video and you can go grab that PDF and then follow along with my recipe videos. We're gonna make one vegan recipe every day. So this is a great way to get started. If you know anybody in your life who's thinking about going vegan or maybe just trying to eat more vegan meals, this is a great way to start. So. I apologize to those of you who missed seeing my face last week. I had a little bit of an accident, so I had a big black eye going on, going on, which thankfully has healed up really quickly. And I have one arm in a brace now. It was in a cast. And thinking about making veggie burgers with a cast on, it was just like picturing lentils getting under here. And I was just like, oh, that's gross. I don't want to do that. And you don't want to see that. So we're going to make a pizza today, which I've been getting better and better with my left hand. So I'm going to try to do everything with my left hand. And we've got some blending because what we're going to do is make a bean dip. We're going to make a spicy black bean dip. That's going to be the base sauce for a pizza. I love doing bean dips for pizzas because it boosts the protein content for vegans and vegetarians who might not otherwise want to put tofu or tempeh or something on top of the pizza. If you just use a bean dip, one, it's really flavorful, two, well, if you make it delicious, which I always do, and I'm going to show you how to do that, and two, it adds the protein right in the sauce of the pizza. So the one that we're making today is actually out of my book, Plant-Based Diet Meal Plan, and it's the loaded black bean pizza right there. And what that calls for is the spicy black bean dip. So that's where we're gonna start. So we're gonna start with some black beans, which I have cooked my pressure cooker. You can use canned if you like. Either way, make sure you rinse them. I am cheating and using concentrated lime juice because I don't think I could cut, squeeze, or zest a lime at the moment with my left hand. But super flavorful if you use a fresh lime and use the zest. And then I'm also going to use some chili powder. Recipe calls for cumin and cayenne pepper, but if you want to save time, you can just do some chili powder. And use as much or as little as you like. Um, obviously, everyone has different spice tolerance, so whatever makes sense to you. And then a little bit of soy sauce or tamari to give some savory and saltiness. Now, this part is subjective. So I've put about a quarter cup of water in the directions, but you don't want too much because it will get runny. And my friend ran into that the other day and she was asking me how to correct it. The only thing you can do to correct it is add more black beans if you happen to have some. If you don't have any, then you just have to make sure you don't add too much water. It does depend how big your lime is as to how much liquid is already in there. So just puree that. Now. If we take a look at the consistency here, it's fairly thick and a little bit chunky but pretty smooth. Now the recipe does have fresh cilantro in it. You guys know I don't like that and you will be shocked to hear that I don't have any fresh parsley on me today. So I'm gonna just leave it like that. So my easy pizza crust of choice is a whole wheat pita. A lot of people use tortillas as well if you want super thin crust. Or you can buy a pizza crust or make one yourself if you're feeling ambitious. This is like my weeknight kind of dinner option, especially like a Friday night if I want to have pizza night but I don't feel like making dough. This is exactly what I will do because it takes about 20 minutes to get everything together. And then you can just chillax with some Netflix. Then you can top it with whatever you like. I've got some red onion, some orange tomato, just to change things up a bit from my CSA bag. And I'm gonna sprinkle 
if my wrist will twist it, some black pepper on here. And the recipe has grated carrot, but I don't think grating is in my physical abilities at the moment. So I'm doing some red pepper. Goes nicely with our orange tomato. Oh, and I'm just piling it on. And then this is gonna go in the oven. I've put my single pita on my toaster oven tray so that I can just use the toaster oven. And that's gonna go in for about 10 to 20 minutes, really just until the vegetables are as soft as you want them. Okay, so that is looking beautiful to me. So I'm gonna transfer this to my cutting board and I'm just gonna try to cut it in quarters. Pretty. Okay, and then fun part, if you want, you can, and I don't know why you wouldn't want to, you can add a slice of avocado on top of each of these. Gives it a nice fatty, creamy goodness. And it looks fun. Get some green in there, right? Yum. My bean dip is quite limey today, I think because of the concentrated lime juice as opposed to fresh lime. So, you know, you can play with this. Do whatever you like. If you don't like lime, swap that out for apple cider vinegar. Make it more spicy, make it less spicy. Do whatever you like. However you do it, hope you enjoy. Very simple, easy recipe that you can make even when your wrist is in a brace. Stay tuned next week, see where my wrist is at. Maybe I will have graduated from my bubblegum colored brace. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And thanks to everybody who sent me a kind note last week, either on YouTube, on Facebook, or by email. I really appreciate the kind words, the good thoughts, all the good vibes. Really, really appreciate it. Um, I don't feel quite ready to talk about exactly what happened um, and I'm not sure if it even matters for these videos but uh, maybe in my next what I eat in a day if you're interested I can let you know what happened um, otherwise I hope you enjoy something delicious and vegan today maybe our pizza maybe something else on the May calendar be sure to pick up that PDF there's a link right below this video you can just download that for free and then tune into the playlist and get all of the recipes day by day Hope you enjoy that, and we will talk soon. Bye, guys.